Who doesn't want to add 10 easy yards to their drives? You only have to spend a couple of minutes online and you're being told dozens of different ways that you, as a golfer, to hit the ball further. And you end up getting stuck in different knots. But there is a much easier way, a very quick tip, no matter how old you are, no matter how bad or good at golf you are, this helps. What I love about this tip is you can apply it today on the course, all right? It gives that positive emphasis of what we're looking for to be able to get a bit more oomph into our shots. And it's not complicated. This is the art of simple golf, so it has to be easy. What we're talking about is perhaps kind of a bit scientific and complicated, or it certainly can be made to be that way. Everyone thinks you've got to swing the club faster and harder to get more speed. Yes and no, it's also about being efficient and not enough of you use the ground enough, okay? But this isn't going to be complicated on foot pressure and transfer or anything like that. There's other lessons that I help with that to give some very simple sensations because with the driver, we want to be able to load into the trail side to be able to push off the trail side. So we're pushing into the ground this way to be able to move through the ball that way. This is gonna give us the force. Even if you know, you're in your 60s or something, we still want to try and tap into the ground because the legs are the biggest muscles. The ground and using the legs is going to give you some good propulsion without having to try that much harder. But can you really apply this when you're thinking about all that too much? When you're thinking about what are my feet doing? I need to twist, I need to push, I need to rotate as people keep telling you to do. You don't have to, we've got other lessons that can help that, but what tip am I gonna give you? And what does Henrik Stenson do? As you can see in a couple of clips here, and I did a really old video on this, uh, talking about his shift you'll notice that just as he starts, he shifts over to his side. It's not really a sway, but it is a movement into his quad, okay? He's shifting into his quad. Rory does it, many other golfers do it, some a little bit more subtle than others. But I don't want you to feel this subtly. I want you to apply some real thought and focus on moving some pressure into your quad muscle here, all right? That's what I want you to do. As you not start your swing, like just before you start it, I want you to apply pressure into your thigh. Because we want to be pushing off the trail foot into the through swing, okay? As we transfer the weight, we want to be pushing that way. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to trust that we need to get over to this side without swaying too much. So the one feel I want you to do to start your swing is apply some tension, some pressure, just a slight little flex, okay? But we're feeling the quads just tense up a little bit here. And as I do that, before I start my swing, okay, I'm setting myself up. It's a slight little shift this way. And that little bump now is almost preloaded me into my trail side. Already, just by doing that, I can feel my foot grabbing the ground a little bit more, okay? I'm into the ground. I don't have to try and do it if I'm thinking about other parts of the swing, which you shouldn't be too much, but you're a golfer, so I know you are. I do it too. What that looks like from here is not focusing about moving the head. It's not this, even though it will slightly move, and we want the hips to move but all I want you to think about is your quad. Push into that side here, then start your swing. It's as simple as that. Get up right now and try this. You don't even need a club, okay? Just let your hands relax. I want you to shift into the quad, shift here. Feel the tension, then swing back, okay? Again, tension into the quad, swing back. I am so loaded into the ground from there, it's much easier to push off. Then you take it to practice the course. Shift, swing, push, okay? It can be as simple as that. Shift, swing, push. Keep doing that. Really feel that you're allowing it to happen. You're not trying to overemphasize it. And I know some of you are gonna ask me, 
Is it only going to work with driver? Predominantly, yes, but I would urge you to test it out with some irons, okay? Because it does depend on what your swing tendency is. Are you shifting your hips too much and you're getting a reverse tilt? So I can't answer that black and white, but give it a little test. If you find that it gives you a little bit more oomph and a good trigger for your swing, all right? So what I want you to do is push this way. Shift, shift. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Try that out. It's gonna give you 10, maybe even more yards. But next time I want you to try it out and watch this lesson next because it's gonna give you one extra move to do on the downswing that really gives you the flow that you're after. It's effortless. Thanks for watching. See you next time.